Once Louise with Louise McCare and welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're here today and I am continuing on a roll of coasters trying to fill up some supply chain for fall. I'm trying to use some fall colors. So what I've got here today everybody is a combination of this. I just literally took this prison pour Chantilly lace and my Golden's iridescent pearl and I added a little scoop of the brulee by TLP. And I wanna see what that's gonna do. So, I mean, it's already pretty. It's just only gonna get prettier, I hope. This is my 24 karat gold com combination with deco art and iridescent uh, gold by Golden. Here's my Quenacridone Nicolazzo gold by Golden. And here I've invited to continue to play with us today is my uh, this is a TLP, and it is Zeus. It's this guy, and he's been looking really nice for me, paired next to Quinacridone. So that's a nice di dynamic combination. And then, of course, you already know, if you've been watching me, I love this combination between the gold and the Quinacridone. So now I've got a dynamic trio. Here is Quina um, Deco Arts Obsidian, and then this is Bronze's uh, golden's bronze, iridescent bronze. So that's going to be my color combination. I'm going to use my Multi Pro and uh, my American Floatrol Cell Activator, and let's get started. All right, so I've got my pillow down. I figure I would get right into it versus uh, showing you laying down the pillow because all I'm doing, all I'm doing, is pouring it on to the coaster. That's all. So here's my Prism Pour. Iridescent pearl combination with a little tiny bit of the brulee by TLP. This is my gold combination. All my colors will be listed below in the description. Here's my quinacridone, Nicolazzo gold. And then um, if you've been following me, you'll know that I love these two colors together. And now here's a third color that I've decided I love. This um, Zeus with this quinacridone are like made together. They're, they're made for each other. They're exactly the similar colors, but one is a is like the grounder. You know, it's like the... The quinacridone is like the, the stabilizer. And then the, the Zeus is like the, look at me. So it's like you got the calm one and then you got the bling one all in the same package when they're next to each other. And it is a dynamo of a color combination. Then you pair that up against with the 24 karat gold combination. Oh, jeez, The first coaster was amazing. I love making coasters. I love making coasters. They're fun, they're quick. And they're just beautiful. And I like to drizzle. If you haven't, if you've been watching me, you know that I am a drizzler. Okay, so that's the colors. Those are the colors. Here is my cell activator, which is my American Floatrol cell activator. Always give it a mix. And I always know the difference between the American and the Australian because the American smells from the pre-stained wood conditioner. There we go. So those of you who, that have been here a while, you know how I like to explain what I'm doing. I'm blowing straight down into the cell activator to try to get it to spread out in as much a full circle as possible. And then once it starts to spread, I go after the little ridge that's created at the edge of the circle 
and I pretend it is like the water of a wave blowing onto the sand. So I'm blowing that cell activator over the top of the paint and the paint over the pillow, and I'm thinking to skim it, the cell activator over the colors, in the same fashion that a wave comes in to meet the beach. Wow. Just, just gorgeous. I don't know if it's as gorgeous as the first one, but it is another beautiful, beautiful color combination and layout. Yeah, and for me, now, for those that follow might know this, uh, I didn't use my first T TLP until this May. So I was more than two years in before I had the nerve, I want to call it the nerve, to, uh, to pull out a TLP. I had them sitting on my shelf for a couple months, but I just didn't feel ready. I felt like I had to earn it. And I had to understand the process of creating these. So when I did use it, I could appreciate them. Okay, let's give it a spin and see where we are. Oh, that's pretty good. Give a little more speed. Yeah, this color combination is a dynamo. If you like earth tones. And I always say, you know, well, I used to think the earth tone palette was my favorite palette, but I've learned since, since learned that <sighs> that's not always the case. I have gravitated to color, even purples, which mean purples when we first started out here. We just didn't get along. But over the last few months, me and purple have been seeing a little bit more eye to eye with each other. And I learn how to use purple. That's a weird color for me. But I'll tell you what, it goes fantastic with the limey green, like this, and turquoise, killer. And I've said this in prior videos as well, that there's definitely different components to uh, the whole process. You know, there's the colors you pick, there's the, the process itself, there's the consistency of the recipe and the paint. So you have the recipe, you have the consistency of the recipe and the paints. You have the colors that you pick. You have the process in which you in, in, employ them on. And all of those things need to be firing together so that you come up with a really nice creation. Now, if one of the spokes is lacking, you know, it's possible you still can get a good creation. You just have to hopefully that the color combination or that something else will compensate. I still got to get this to spread out. But ideally, you have all components on high alert and you get something dyna dynamic. So I got a couple of white spots I'm going to tackle here. And I'm sure it's all because of this batch of Multi-Pro, which tended to be a little bit more bubbly this time. So the white spots... I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but I'll mention it now, are caused by the pillow paint, usually, with an air bubble in them, and it percolates up, and as it burps through, essentially, the white spot it shows up. In this case, it's the pillow paint. Now that's not a white spot, that's Chantilly Lace. So I still have a little more to go to get this fully 
stretched. So let's keep going. I love making coasters. And you know what? I've said this maybe in another video, but I don't think they get the respect that they deserve because they're little. It's like short people got no reason. Well, little coasters got no reason. You know that song? Short people got no reason. Well, in this case, the coasters are small, so you don't think, you don't give it any respect because, oh, it's little. I challenge people to do this. It's like working in bonsai. You got to have the process down. You got to know what you're doing so that when you're creating it on such a small scale, it comes out. It's, it's really, a larger canvas brings its own challenges. I know that. But you can, you can fix things easier on something larger. This here, you know, you're exposed. Like if I blew that dunk, you would see it right away because it's right in the middle. You gotta get it done. You gotta get it right. There's something floating in the air. Or is that a bug? All right, everybody, I think this is done. Oh, this is a stunner. Oh, these are just beautiful. All right. Here's this one. Try to keep it out of the glare. So everyone, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have the coaster we just created and the three others. And if you've noticed, I always have the set of four because it shows that there is some coloring control in the way I meter it out to make it actually seem like a set. So if you enjoyed this video tutorial, please subscribe, hit the bell and all. You'll get all my latest art tutorials. And at the end of this, I'm gonna have my Bloom Coaster playlist for you to see other color combinations and results. Here are the final resin results. And let's just say this is a set that I'm quite pleased with. So until next time, everybody, take care.